Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Games on the Sega CD. We have now moved on to the, uh, well, third game on the list. And trust me, this one's gonna be a doozy. And I mean a real doozy. We've got special parameters for this game, and I will explain them after the... What? Yes. Um, I'll just let the opening video play. This is another Data East game. Yeah, such a Road Avenger, we're now doing this. Huh. Um, yeah. This is normal, right, folks? Right? Sure it is. That's interesting. Oh, the one in the middle looks like that, uh, chicken robot from, uh, Mega Man 5. And the puke. Yes, folks, um, I'm sure the game will explain itself. Machines have suddenly begun to malfunction worldwide. Oh, damn. A nasty computer virus has created software bugs in the computer network server, which will infect every device on the planet. Lovely. A new software program has been developed to deal with the situation. To help with the slow text, the program, codenamed PANIC, was designed to destroy the virus. Not Panic at Disco, folks, just PANIC. And before that gets on my nerves... Yes, folks, this is PANIC, a really, really screwed up Data East game. I mean, really screwed up. Uh, if you got from the opening video as well as the story, uh, a nasty computer, computer virus has hit this main central processing program center. Now, every single machine in the world, even if it's not plugged into the wall, is now malfunctioning. So, apparently the government made this program called Panic to help deal with the situation. Um... I'm going to attempt to do this in a single run-through. That means I'm not going to be stopping at 10-minute marks or anything. I'm really testing my sanity here, folks, so... If I can do it, yay. If I can't and I'm, my mind is starting to numb, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But I'm going to try to go th for a one for a sit-down play once. I'm not going to beat the game in 10 minutes, so expect multiple parts. But I'm not going to stop at the 10-minute mark. So, without further ado, let's begin Panic. Michael. Oh, the sound effects. God, I love this game. And apparently this young boy, Sega CD, transported him to this mystical world. That boy's name is Slap. Find the computer room! I mean, the buttons that will lead you to the computer network server. And this is the gameplay. We move the mouse around, and we press either A, B, or C to pick whatever destination we want to go to. The game is completely random, so how about we take this one? Ah, an elevator. And yes, this game is about pressing buttons, as we try to uh, guide Slap 
as well as this dog stick down to the main core. As you can see, we are currently on level 2 out of, well, 21. We've got a long ways to go. Uh, basically, those little purple squares, I've never gotten to those before. I think if you get there, it's an instant game over. I'm guessing. Uh, down below is scenes, uh, gags, and remaining monuments. Uh, for every scene uh, you complete, then you get an extra percent to the scene. For every fake button you press, you get an instance rated on your gag list. And if you actually hit a button that destroys a precious mon monument, like a nuke blowing up New York City, a bullet train blowing up, uh, Parliament being destroyed by V, you know, the sort of normal things that we see, then you'll lose a monument count. When all the monuments are done, we'll get a special ending, which I'm not going to go for. All, the, all it is in a special ending is the world's been completely destroyed, and we failed miserably. But then that's what happens when you let the world in the hands of a boy. You can also save your game, which I'll be doing often in case Marseille C decides to screw up on me. So, uh, I've never seen this screen before, even though it's the first of many elevator screens. So let's go down. Oh! And Japanese's ba Japanese businessmen come pouring out of the elevator. And he's okay! Game on! Let's go up then. This game is all about trial and error. And the joy of this game comes from seeing what each button does. It's awesome the amount of ways your character can quote unquote die. It's just. It's awesome. It's a really twisted, screwed up game, but. It's... This is the main reason why I finally decided to buy my Sega CD. Uh, I saw a, uh, I saw a video on this. I'm like, you know, this is for the Sega CD. I have got to give this game a try. And so I found a copy of this on, on Amazon. So I went and bought this and my Sega CD. And soon, uh, Road Avenger and Sonic CD followed afterwards with Snatcher uh, coming in around Christmas time of last year. Uh, let's hit the telephone button. Oh, no. No slap. No! Well, he's screwed. Oh, poor guy's trying. And he accepts his death. Alright, so we don't want to press the phone button. Let's try... Well, we're currently on floor one. Let's try going to floor three. Oh! Another thing cool about this game is that if you've ever seen the Police Academy movies, it sounds like every single sound effect was done by some guy on a microphone. I mean, if the elevator door was like... Or stuff like that. Let's try two, then. Huh! This must be a wonk evader. <laughs> I will find the button eventually, folks. Alright, let's try opening the doors. Ah! Got crushed again. Okay, let's try... Let's try floor one. Now sometimes... There we go! Now sometimes it'll take you forever to find the right button, or sometimes it's just an instant. It really is a game about luck and trying to... Oh crap, this screen. Wow, that's a complex laser gun. Uh, let's try this one. Hey, hey! Got out of there! Ah, the statue scene! And I guess this one's infected, too. Let's try the center button. Whoa! I just... Hmm. The hands exploded and the statue had to launch up. Alright, let's go from here and we'll work this one counterclockwise. Counter 